Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. Welcome back to Let's Play No Man's Sky. Uh, today we're going to check on the settlement and go do the weekend community event. I'm watching you. Do you need to be booped? Boop! Hey, I missed. Wait, come back here. I'm not done with you. <laughs> what? What do you want me to look at? A rock? Okay. Good pet sentinel. Uh, already had the battle royale in here. Killed a bunch of uh, sentinels. And, um, yeah. Happens every time I come <laughs> after a reload. So if you save and close your game down, uh, exit, and reload your game back to your settlement, and you don't have a fight, I want to know what the combat system is in your star system. <laughs> Because, as I've stated before, um, mine is a rather rough, uh, aggressive, <laughs> aggressive conflict level. Thank you for making a, um, a box. Thanks. Thanks for the box. That was a really expensive box. Um, where's my house? <laughs> I was almost there, and I stopped and turned around to hit record. <laughs> I have a lot of settlements here, and actually, I mean a lot of buildings. Um, I actually still want to move. So we got that new box right there. Woohoo. And this is the best place, market stall. And we have a couple of, like hotel type places and, I, and quite a number of places to work. You see these buildings with the rounded ceilings. There's a number of places to work. And there's my pretty shippo. And yeah, those aren't lined up at all. <laughs> Not a bit. All right, here we go. Let's see, there's a visitor. Uh, hello. Unknown outcome. Scout Gek Yados <laughs> claims to have fall I think I used to call my dog that when she was a puppy. Oh, that was Yedo. <laughs> claims to have followed a call from an automated distress signal. The word stones have spoken to them and they repeat their message. First spawn will Lilu Loskji Time is Lukian. Okay, get out. Go away. Don't kill the messenger, but sometimes the messengers are just quacks, and that's all there is to it. New resources available. That would be our kelp sack. And yeah, let's just dump it there. And our non-stick pistons. We still have two negatives here. Uh, I don't really know what's up with that, but let's go do the community event, and then we'll come back, because the community event is Hazardous Flora, and so we're probably going to spend a little time doing that. It is my favorite mission. I like to kill Hazardous Floras. I like to do it without the assistance of the analysis scope visor directional target thingy. <laughs> I can find hazardous flora with my body, thank you. I don't need another piece of equipment. <laughs> as long as you've got the hit points anyway. <laughs> use the scope um, to some extent as it intended for the expeditions mission. Now that's completely different. The scope seems to have been developed for expeditions and was sent throughout the rest of the entire game uh, literally just to make us mad. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't to make us mad. Maybe they thought it would be helpful. And I suppose it would be if it wasn't so irritating. 
<laughs> Eliminate hazardous floras. Let's go do it. <laughs> Malicious foliage. Okay, thanks. I mentioned that the other day, how usually when I get to my ship, I have to clear that mission information so I can get in. But the way that it had parked my ship that day, it took me the entire time that that music was playing to get to my ship. <laughs> now, every planet has hazardous flora. If you're on a dead planet and you're looking for hazardous flora, just look for caves. I, I, you know, I know that I have been, I've heard and I've been told, uh, I need two suit slots, um, that you won't find hazardous flora on dead planets, but I have checked since then, and you in fact do. They're just not as easy to find. The surface plants won't be there. But I did, what I found was an exposed cave and it was just covered in those gaseous, toxic, little bulbulous growth things, whatever they are. They look like cancers. Oh, did I forget to get a fresh monster? Oh no. This would be a lot more fun with monster. <laughs> Since I'm already thirsty. I would like to try to get uh, Lava to do these missions with me. I'm going to need your help. Here's how it works. In the comments section below, at LavaLamp64, I'd say, do the weekend mission with KJ. It'll be fun. Just like, hello. At any rate, <laughs> this artifact of the expeditions, which I think ends today, um, is very odd. Why am I checking this multi-tool? This is a weekend mission system. I don't want to stay here. Oh, wait a minute. There's a goodie. Manners. <laughs> the level of goofing off that goes on in my life. <laughs> All right, Agoya, Boya, Doya, Dios, whatever your name is, let's go. <laughs> Site of floral infestations located. There's the teeny tiny little signal over there. You can increase your HUD. The problem is that it doesn't just increase the signals you want, it increases all of the signals. And so it ends up covering your screen by the time you see these tiny ones. Haunted Emerald Planet. Oh, it's got ancient bones on it, too. This might be a good place to go to the next system over and take a bone mission. It might not be. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Hazardous Floras. Oh, it's my least favorite filter. And we do have to go talk to the thing as soon as I find it. There's a knowledge stone. Is the thing in that crater? I barely saw that. Like I saw the tiniest little glint and I didn't know if it was going to be the thing. It's apparently it's the thing. Snagged around the ankles, piercing thorns, completely unaware, save me. Save yourself, run away. All right, see, now watch this. Oh, that's normal. That's the normal one. You know what that means? That means there isn't any hazardous forest here. So let's look for underground stuff instead. That might have been underground. Let's look back on it and see. Nope, it was this gigantic creature. Oops. Is there two gigantic creatures on this planet? Land of the Giants.
Are those two gonna fight? I don't know. I'm looking around for a cave. There's a cave over there. And there's also a plant right there. And there's one behind me. There it is. Oh, that startled me. <laughs> that loud walking. I was like, mm, these places are creepy enough. Is that a plant? It is a plant. I thought it was a rock. I don't need any of that hex bush plant or whatever it's called. Uh, there's one right there. Oh, I thought there was a cave under my feet. Nope. <laughs> so that is, oh, please don't even start. Like, okay, so this is E Moon Bayima, and this is. Bison Hygarium. Somebody tells me those things were renamed. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's three of them there. All right. Do we need to actually go down there? <laughs> I like a level at which please just don't turn on now. I got it. <laughs> it's a good time to go into a cave. All right. These filters can sometimes make this far more difficult than necessary. But with my luck, I will be setting off multitudes of hazardous plants anytime now. Okay, are you done? <laughs> Floating crystals, nice. There's the hazardous flora. They're outside. I think I mentioned before, using your terrain manipulator to get rid of them does not count towards killing them. Even though it does, you have to use a weapon. Look at this stick of silver right here. All right, let's see here. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm trying to see the thing. There we go. It's easier if you just set them off with your pointer. And a lot of people probably, like myself, wonder for a long time why it is that lava can run through these tunnels and never set any off. And as I'm going by, I set them off constantly. And it's because I do a lot of this movement, which is disturbing, I know. <laughs> but I move around a lot, and when you're Pointer, Let's see if I can get my pointer back up. You can move all around this area, but as soon as you hit one of those things and look at it, it starts to go off. Probably not close enough. It is pulsing though. There it goes. And they're usually right around my feet, you know. <laughs> all right, let's go check out uh, the rest of this place. since that doesn't take very long to do that mission. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I think I went down instead of up. What's that over there? Is that out? <laughs> Is there a way out? Oh boy. <laughs> I'm never gonna make this. Look at how far away it is. 
<laughs> Already? Jeez, soup lady. Can't you remind me to charge those things before we start? Shippo. <laughs> Where did I leave my ship? There it is. <laughs> oh, good. Alright, storm's gonna stop. There's a red dot over there. Ooh, gecklings. Proto gecks, whatever you wanna call them. Call them whatever you wanna call them. Teddy, oh, what is, oh, that's a mushroom. Look like a rock on a stick. <laughs> oh boy, it's only 30 degrees. I'm not gonna get much of a lift off of the, <laughs> off of the heat there. There's uh, some bones right there. There's quite a bit of buried tech here. So if you're in need of buried tech, uh, come check it out. That is a T-Rex. Woohoo! They're kind of rare now. You can tell, like it was 430,000 units almost. But look at all the buried tech right here. I mean, despite the fact that the filter is hurting my eyes, this would be a pretty good place to come to. There's these heat storms, but they're not so bad. Billowous storms, that's just like a daily storm. Uh, medium resources, abundant fauna, rich flora, frequent sentinels, but they didn't care about what I was doing. Not really. But this excites me when you see things like that. When you see multiple purposes, there's knowledge stones, buried mineral formations, uh, there's bones, more data. That's what excites me about a planet. When it's got multiple uses, something to do while you're looking for the animals, you know. If uh, zoology is not your thing, then, you know, learning words or uh, whatever. Let's go out there a little ways. See what else we have to uh, look at. I'm just waiting for 15 minutes to pass by because uh, actions take place on your um, on your settlement um, every 15 minutes to two hours. Brain, hello. It's a lack of monster today. <laughs> Aggressive Sentinels, more Ancient Bones. The system has two planets with Ancient Bones in it. I say park next door, and when Ancient Bone missions come up, take them there so that you get sent here. <laughs> Did I miss all the land? Oh, I don't mean to. There's calm balls everywhere. I don't know why the game's not telling me who identified this system. I mean, this planet. Let's get out and find out. There's some Gravitino balls right there. Go set them off. There we go. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Too much metal plate, that's what we got. Uh, Deadly Menace. All right. Oh, hello. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm sure those two trees will grow back. <laughs> There's the space station. And what do we have here? Activated emerald. Very cool. So this is a green star system. Um, lost green planet. Activated emerald. And one more 
uh, more activated emerald, an incandescent hot planet that has selenium and phosphorus on it. All right. That is the whole system. So when you turn in your mission, just change your exit system. Exit out back to this system and jump to the system next door. And uh, if you don't have the hyperdrive to get you here from next door, um, you can teleport back here, but you need to go to the space station first. And apparently it touched the teleporter. I don't know what that's all about. That's new to me, but it, I've seen evidence of it recently. Uh, change exit system and complete ho for 1,200 more quicksilvers. I don't need the drop pods. Um, 2,900 because <clears throat> I've been spending it. Sorry. One of the things that we need to pick up is uh, some tainted metal uh, so that we can buy the parts for the Halloween um, stuff, for the gooey, creepy stuff. And let's just, uh, oops, let's, let's do this right. Let's go ahead and go to the space station. We could have teleported there, maybe from the anomaly. I'm not sure about that. I think we already did this. I've had trouble lately with um, being able to teleport between systems, and I mean outside of expeditions, which was limited by the programming. Because I've never built a teleporter on a first base, flown up the space station, and not been able to use the space station teleporter. <laughs> so, if that's a new thing, then I didn't notice it for the survival game. There's a dead guy here. And I don't think we can teleport to current system anymore. We just have to go like back and forth. Let's just try it this way. Uh, Kursarg. Kusarg. You might have to actually use the teleporter now to get it into your um, into your system. Into your save file find out. We'll just go next door. That was a very typical uh, Corvax name. I couldn't even pronounce it. Z-I-H-Y <laughs> something. When you let computers make up words, procedurally generated language. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, we're here. Nice. Is that on the recording? No. <laughs> My... <laughs> My Steam notification just popped up to tell me that Sword is playing Valheim right now. Good for him. I think I logged into Medieval Dynasty last night for like uh, two minutes, maybe. Of course, last night was the live stream, and... Uh, so that meant today I slept. <laughs> I don't think I need any. Do I need one more? Maybe one more I need. Yep. There we go. And that is our whole suit finally done. Oh my gosh. Uh, do we need anything? There is movement, there's life support, and there's shields. 
There's movement, there's life support, and there's shields. We do not need anything from there. Um, what do we got going on here? Aspect of Harmony. Dazzling Nodoma. B-class pistol. That's interesting. <laughs> or B-class rifle, rather. Um, yeah, there's too many people in the bar. I don't like it when the bar is crowded. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can teleport back to that system by just having looked at the teleport list, or if we actually have to use that teleporter. I should say previous system, right up front. Kusarg, there it is right there. And we can teleport right back, which means that we can teleport here and take missions uh, for Ancient Bones, which would be awesome because there's two planets there. can't be sure that that's where you'll get sent until uh, until you do the mission. But here we are, back in Kusark. All right, let's go back to our settlement. See if anything new came up, uh, because no buildings did. And so I think I'm at that plateau point with uh, building. There's got to be more ways to raise your settlement um, class than just by building projects. I may have chose things um, that didn't necessarily make my citizens happy, but secured their future. And so, yeah, I'm the unpopular president Where's my office? Why is it always so hard to find? <laughs> I wouldn't be able to find the bridge of my freighter. <laughs> right. There's nothing new here uh, to do, and our status remains the same. Our population's also really low. I've considered several times just uh, putting together a new establishment in Eisentown. Um, so, yeah. I want to, um, there it is, H Hill. Uh, since the announcement of the Halloween build off, um, I have not yet started my build because I'm still thinking about it. Um, several people have, mostly council people, uh, council people for the UAS. But all are welcome to come to the Halloween build for the UAS and build whatever you like. It's in Hilbert Galaxy. You can go to uh, Sane's World's Discord. Thanks for letting go of me. Welcome to Salem's Lot. You can go to say, uh, Zane's Discord and uh, get a Hooper request, or you can portal to the center of Euclid by using the first glyph and then flying the rest of the way and going through the center. Then you'll find a portal and uh, wherever you land and you'll come here. There's the glyphs right there. And uh, this is the main build planet, but every planet in the system is available for building. And you can see that um, parachute, 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 TP face Y, that is a signal that you are in the UAS. Um, and at least in this region. And I found this uh, place and just dropped a base computer uh, so that I would have a connection here. I'm looking for kind of particular conditions. Um, I might involve a mountain like that one over there. Uh, or build on the side of a volcano. I have not yet decided, but we'll take a quick look since we have a few minutes. If you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Uh, we do a lot of, in No Man's Sky, and uh, if you have any questions and I can't answer them, I will find the person that can, and I will have them answer that question for you. Um, 
I have a lot of very strong contacts in the No Man's Sky community, and I welcome your input, and um, we always welcome you into the community. This uh, toxic planet is called the Green Mile. I like that one. There's the dead world. It's called Pet Cemetery after Stephen King. Very. These are all Stephen King um, names. And you see there, Salem's Lot. And there's a few others. There are a couple of more. And we'll just go out here. Uh, there is, I believe, uh, is it an alien? There's a multi-tool here, but it's not S-Class. All right. Quit goofing off. Use the tools. There we go. Up there. Up there is Carrie, which is a um, temperate planet. But it has aggressive sentinels. And it's storming right now, so you can't see it. That's too bad. Hopefully the storm will end by the time we get there and you'll see why we named it Carrie. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but uh, as I said, everyone is welcome to come and build and um, Go on uh, Zane's Discord if you want your build to be shown on the build live stream. I think I came in right over the water. Nope, I did not. All right. Let's bring up the sun. You can't really see much from the mountains. <laughs> Can't see what's happening there. Let's go out towards the sun a little bit. Ah, still cloudy. <laughs> I would say that the grass is more often than not red. <laughs> it looks really purple in this view, though. Got to be honest with you. <laughs> it's probably the only nice time of day. We should probably just land. <laughs> all right, you guys. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. <clears throat> While I clear my throat yet again, sorry about that. My gosh. Um, <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for coming along. If you're enjoying the content, please click the like o button. Hi there, you strange creature. And as always, just the geck word for just, just. Just have an amazing day. 